Hey guys, in this video I've joined the forward fuselage to the rear, uh, put on the cabin frame, um, have a sneak peek in here if you like, and yeah, we'll just discuss how we went about it and joined the front to the rear. Alright, hey guys, got the uh, forward fuselage under construction here, sheds in a bit of disarray, um, just making some room as we go, but I'll um, show you through the forward fuselage. We um, had a crack at this, all went together pretty well. There's a lot of parts in there, uh, a bit of manufacturing of uh, L angles, etc. Um, some nice compound curves, but at the moment it's all clicoed together, so it can all come apart. If anyone knows, I'm not sure what these the two holes here, um, and same on the other side in there can't identify that there's also um, an extra hole down there so that's two rows of A5s along there and then it's just still a few holes still a few holes there I have to um, give a home to it all sort of works out in the end but it looks like at the moment there's a couple of maybe they're jigging holes or something I'm not too sure um, so anyway uh, that's where we're at at the moment I'll spin the fuselage round and temporarily join this up, put the cage on. The cage, the um, cabin frame or the cage if you like, is down at the, uh, I'm going to get that, I've got that powder coated, pick that up tomorrow um, and source in the rest of the parts that have been down at the powder coaters as well. One thing I am learning I guess is um, trying to get all your ducks in a row, order things, um, dealing with companies, it uh, can get a bit frustrating at times but um, we'll get there in the end. So I'll rearrange the shed, offer this up, click on it all together. Um, end of the day, this is all going to come back apart again and be deburred and uh, corrosion control and then start the riveting process. Um, it's going to be interesting trying to rivet this because I can see a lot of gotchas there if we don't do it in the right order. But anyway, uh, going well. Um, been out flying today, so I took the jab down to Lee and Gatherine Yab. Yeah, beautiful day outside, so I went for a fly and now back in the shed and hard at it. Okay, this is where we're at. Uh, we've got the forward fuselage, all clicked together, and the rear fuselage. So hopefully today we'll get these mated up. Um, here on my own, could call a mate over, but I think I will. Um, I think I'll disassemble, put the sides in, then reassemble it. Do it that way. It should be okay. Got to mate all this up, and then work on the um, the weldments. The weldments here got back from the from the powder coaters, which are looking pretty snazzy. And a few parts that have already been deburred and a bit of riveting going on just to get a head start and the seat belt brackets. Put some grommets in, working out, got to think ahead as to where the cables are going to run um, and the fuel system. And I may even paint paint the rear section down there. And got my cabin frame ready to go in. Uh, these have a, yeah, just there, have a witness hole, and I'm going to need to trim the edges of these, also at the top. It's interesting how it's all about edge distances, but that little hole, the first one in there, it's about 3mm from the edge, so let's just ignore the edge distance on that, I guess, and put the frame on. It's only holding the front of the fuselage together. And rudder pedals, rudder pedals have been in, uh, they've turned out nice. Uh, I see a few people marking these but they're sort of, they only fit one way and you've got the, got, got the lugs on there anyway so a lot of this stuff I don't, doesn't really need to be marked. You can work it out. Um, and the brake pedals, just, I'm just going to have brake pedals on the pilot side. Yeah so first aircraft, want to get it together and keep it simple. Uh, sometimes simple is better, I think. Um, Going to work on a header tank and, and route the fuel lines down and all the electronics. Um, also, the brake lines going back the other way. I've um, got to think about those things now. But going well. All right, starting to look like an aeroplane. Almost time to sit in it. So I've got the front fuselage all clicked on. Uh, bear in mind, most of this fuselage is going to have to, well, 
all of the front fuselage is going to come off again. So it's just click out in place at the moment, um, just to get the fit. About to put the cage on top. Um, that'll be that'll be a fun project. But uh, if you have a look, I've just um, joined front to rear. Uh, this area here, not sure, got a leading edge into the airflow, but the skin doesn't seem to want to go on the outside. But I'll research that. I've got to do the weldments for the main landing gear. Uh, seats turned out pretty good. Or well, the seat pan. There's another seat that goes on top of this. Um, and the center console where the joystick will come out here. I've done the rudder pedals. The rudder pedals, rudder pedals and the brakes I'll do before, obviously before I put the firewall on. And then there's a lot of fluted uh, stringers to go along this side. I did have one issue where I was wondering how I was, well, why I was waiting to join the fuselage all as one bit. But I drilled the seat pan along here um, while the forward fuselage was separate. Um, so the fuselage was actually wider than it needed to be. And so I think the technical term is I balls that one up. Um, I'm just working out. It's not a biggie. I can drill out the holes. They're about 3mm from the hole that's underneath where it was drilled through. Um, I can put a, another rivet, every second rivet if I need to. And also the, um, the seat belt brackets, haven't riveted those yet. Because when this comes off I'll be able to drill in from the back without the, the rear fuselage in the way. Alright, hey guys, look at that. Got a, um, got the forward fuselage assembled together. That was a bit of an effort. Um, a lot of a lot, of in, a lot of intricate parts there to get it all, um, get them all working together. But yeah, it went together pretty well. Um, I've just installed the, the cabin frame, so it's starting to look like an aeroplane. I'll show you that. Every day, just had a bit on. Had to lower it down on the bench, sort of jammed in here, and get some clearance on my elevator up there. Yeah, I know I could have moved the elevator, but anyway. Um, what issues did I have? So. For the cabin frame, I guess I've had it on about eight times, I reckon, um, on and off. Would have been nice if that had pilot holes in it, but not a biggie. Um, the plans do actually state, I'll show you over here, uh, where is it? See this other drawing. Um, Just there, nine rivets, A5 riveted with C75 F16-4. And for the life of me, I don't think C75 F16-4 exists. So sometimes it takes a bit of time, do your research. Um, but anyway, I'll drill and click it, and if something comes up, we'll find out. And the other thing, so when the mount goes on, got a nice pilot hole already in the in the frame. Once you've got that to line up and cut this on a 15 degree angle, which is fine. But lo and behold, the rivets, um, well this rivet up here, just gets in the way on both sides. I'll show you the other side. Which is a pain because it's not like it's important or anything, but that's your, um, that's your data line, that's zero for the rest of the aircraft. Um, so it'd be nice if... I don't know, a little bit more attention was paid to that area. You can see up in there that rivet. So I just sculpt out each of the tubes just to give me that well, an Australian metric uh, puff tenth or a bee's dick of clearance. And uh, it just rides up. Maybe I'll squash the head of the rivet. Well, I don't think so. They're big A6 rivets. Um, they hardly, you pull them and they sort of go, no thanks, and don't move much. But anyway, so the frame's on, a little bit of tweaking, um, got that sitting nicely, just with, we're been going at that a couple of hours now, believe it or not, a bit hard on your own too, probably a two-man job, but I got it done, a bit stubborn like that at times, and I just have to mark out, I think it's nine rivets at 20 inch, 20, 20 mil pitch, that'll go on, and then it's pretty much time to pull it apart and deburr. Corrosion control and slowly rivet things back together. 
Um, but yeah, going along well, having fun, keep chipping away, get my couple of hours a night in at least. Um, had a big day yesterday, which was good. So, hope you're enjoying the videos. And what are we up to next? Got the nose wheel over here, painted up the nose with no, no strut. Uh, rudder pedals. Oh, that's what we do next. So, once I um, you know, rivet the um, or final size hole, the cabin frame, click over that, and then then we have a go at these weldments, which go onto the undercarriage, which is on the floor there. The weldment, so the wing strut attachment where my thumb is, and undercarriage bolts on there. And you can see where that offers up. Um, a few people tell me a few horror stories, but I'm sure we'll just work along slowly, get that bolted on nicely, and then, uh, then she'll have some sexy legs. Just get my nose wheel back from the machine shop, and uh, I have to start thinking about getting rid of this, this table in here. Um, yeah, whether I put it on its wheels and move the fuselage around, uh, maybe even take the uh, take the wings for a ride down to the down to some storage somewhere. Anyway, we'll work it out. Um, all going along well. Might wrap that video up here. So that's the current progress for uh, the date today is fifteenth of June. So we're, that's 250 hours work so far. I just signed off 250 hours. So we've got forward fuselage, rear fuselage, two wings, uh, stabs up the back there, elevators there, rudders inside, flaperons are up there, and I'm still married. All good. Thanks for watching.